Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Rogue Heroes Ruins of Tazos. Rogue Heroes was developed by Heliocentric, it was published by Team 17 Digital, the fine folk who brought you guys Overcooked, and it was released onto the Nintendo Switch and the PC on February 23rd, 2021. The current MSRP is $19.99. Alright, wanna get into it? You can't play it co-op. I'm going to play single player, because I'm a single Pringle. I'm going to actually start this save file, because this game is sort of like a roguelike, so... You can unlock classes. By the way, this is basically... Just imagine Legend of Zelda Link to the Past mashed with a roguelike. With some nice progression stuff, and that's what you got. So... <clears throat> Let me just get out into the village. You can pet the dog, by the way. Oh man, any game that lets you pet the doggo. Bonus points. So basically, you wake up, you're in this village. And you're going into a dungeon, you're exploring, and then you're unlocking rupees, basically. You can knock down all the bushes if you want. <laughs> So that green meter is the stamina. Stamina meter, so you can't keep cutting down bushes. That makes me a little bit sad. But why don't I show off some of the stuff here? So this guy is like the first NPC you see. And he wants your help rebuilding the village. So if you look here, uh, you will go into a dungeon. You will try to clear it until you die. When you die, you come back to your house. But you keep all of the gems that you have. And you can spend those gems on NPC buildings. So I built a potion shop by mistake. I meant to build a blacksmith. He's right here. And then you can go there and from, from the blacksmith you can upgrade your weapon. So I'll show that in a little bit. But you see here you get crystals and then you build your town out basically. So that's, there's a nice reason to go and grind a dungeon. Um, and when you die it's okay because you, you're always going to come back with gems which you can use to build stuff. So it kind of has this nice feeling of making progress even when you're dying. So go in. So this is kind of like your sword upgrade tree. Uh, you got the traditional damage increase. You got attack speed. You got a range up here. Your reach star, you can reflect bullets. That's really expensive in the beginning is 400. And damage increase. You can destroy bullets, there's a lot more you can do. So, when every time you go into the dungeon, uh, you are gaining currency which you can use to make the progress a lot better by upgrading your stuff. So the trade-off is when you go back into the dungeon, you'll lose all of your gems that you had, so you, you gotta spend all of it. And then you can go and make another run. So, it feels like Legend of Zelda mixed with the roguelike with some very nice progression. So that it feels like you're making progress. Um, I'm gonna go here. This is a fast travel point. This is basically the entire village and you go out and then this is your first dungeon. All your gems are gone. The backstory is that there were uh, four goddesses that sacrificed themselves to seal the titans in dungeons to save humanity. And then, you know, mankind spread forth from the land. It was a time of peace and prosperity until they discovered this island which had magic left over from the titans and the goddesses. So even the story is very similar to Legend of Zelda. Now, when you make certain progress in the dungeon, uh, you will unlock shortcuts so that you can just go straight to where you left off. <clears throat> Until then, you gotta play throughout the entire dungeon. Oh, god dang it. Alright, this game is difficult, not gonna lie. Watch out for, uh... <laughs> Watch out for the god dang trap tiles. Like this one, they're 
little bit darker. You saw that jar shake, right? There's a snake in there. There's a snake in there too. Oh my god, it's a mimic. God. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Dark Souls. Okay. Since there's stamina, you do have to kind of play like Dark Souls in that oh, you just can't spam attack. Okay. I know this one has a snake in it. The minimap is in the upper right hand corner. You can totally change the size of that if that's too small for you. This is new. Oh, what the heck is going on there? Well, not okay. So a neat thing is for Zelda, you have to go to different dungeons to get a new item, right? So in this game, what they do is they give you glass versions of those items, and basically those items will break when you die, so you can't take it out of the dungeon, but you can use it as long as you're not dying. So it's a way to give you weapons and stuff to try out. I think it's a pretty pretty neat system. Increase my max health, it's pretty cool. Darn snake. <laughs> no step on snake. I'm playing on keyboard and mouse by the way, but you're probably gonna have a lot easier of a time if you play on a controller. I find this game pretty enjoyable. They do a lot of interesting updates to like the Legend of Zelda formula. And adding in progression stuff. Uh oh, I ran the wrong way. It's a really interesting design choice. The only thing I don't like is when you're underground or underneath something, they make it transparent and it makes the walls a little bit hard to see. So I wish that was a little bit different, but... It's more candles to light. Oh, up there. Oh. To be careful for snakes. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I missed that. My boomer eyes can't see it. Dude, everything looks the same. And also the dungeons are randomized. Uh, I've been playing this for a little bit and uh, every time you die, it turns out a little bit different. And each room seems to be set, like pretty much the same. But the order in which you reach those rooms, that seems to be randomized. I could be wrong, but I did run across two of the same room. Um, so. Yeah, glass bomb bag. Oh, nice. Yes, they do have the thing where you can blow holes in walls for a secret entrance. It's totally Legend of Zelda. What happens? <laughs> Run for your life. 
they can. Question is, where do I, where am I supposed to go next? I think this will be a lot of fun in co-op. Is this locked? Mm. He's movable. It's negatory. Mm. I don't think I can do anything more in this room. That one's a little bit scary. It, it uh, spits out a web, and then you're cocooned in like a a trap, and then they come in and just attack you while you're trapped. And I hate spiders already. There you go. Oh, guys. It is hard to aim directionally on uh, on keyboard. Oh, wait, is that... I was supposed to find a dude. I don't know if that's him. Oh. Yeah, the game is actually pretty, pretty challenging. It's not like that the encounters are especially hard. It's more like keeping your HP up high enough to go through and beat the entire dungeon. That's the challenge. Hmm. I'll save my money. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but that worked out. Ah, darn snake, dude. <laughs> and I stepped on a trap tile without realizing it, but that triggered the chest to appear, so that's okay. Room clear. Nice. That means you got everything in the room. Okay. This is cool. Oh. Oh! <laughs> well, I thought they were friendly. Oh, okay. I thought I dodged that. I was like, oh, I made some new friends and then they started attacking me. How could I be betrayed like this? So far, I, I don't know if the walls sound different if they are bombable. Like in Legend of Zelda, they made a different sound. Uh, usually they just have like a crack on the wall. But you know, Zelda does a thing where it's just completely looking fine the outside and they can blow it up still, so... Not entirely sure about that. There's a trap towel there. I gotta pay attention. What is this? I don't know. Mm, how do I how do I do this one? I can only go up if I put oh. Wait. 
There's a trap tile there. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're so sneaky. If you're not paying attention, you can step on that. Those sneaky sneaks, huh? Oh, I need to have that push too? Really? Um, hmm. There's a doorway there. How do I get through to the other side? How do I even... Alright, let me make sure there are no other buttons. Oh no! I, I stepped on it! Oh, I knew it was there and I forgot. That's how they got you, dude. Yeah. This dungeon's too big. <laughs> I don't think I can kill that guy. Pretty certain. Yeah, I can't kill him. I don't think there's any any doors there. It's like a giant white arrow saying, "Look, I'm a hidden door." Need to floor to you, okay? Four hundred gems? Nah. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so expensive. Yeah, screw that, man. I'm okay with come wait. Mm. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh my god, oh, my money. <laughs> no. Not like this. Oh, how did they even hit me? You just gotta watch out for your health because it's just really hard to replenish. Touched him. I thought I could mash attack fast enough. Well, we died. Let's magically revive. Oh, you can customize your character too, by the way. Change the hair. Um, I think the cape color. Yeah, I can't wait to unlock the other classes. You do that by unlocking the tailor, I think? Yeah. Alright, we don't have a lot of money, but let's see what we can build now. Upgrade home. Clinic. Upgrade health and magic. Yeah, the tailor will let you purchase new classes. Items, upgrade existing equipment and purchase new ones. Okay. Fitness center farm. We have to find Nick and then we can get the research thing open. Ooh, fishing. Oh, people are waiting. Should I build a house? Fine, I'll build a house. That guy built that house by himself, man. <laughs> okay. Let's 
go visit the house. And then uh, rob them blind. <laughs> Link has taught me well. Yeah, steal everything or destroy everything. <laughs> we don't care whose house it is. And it's just like, I built those barrels yesterday. <laughs> Really nice place you built here. Yeah, yeah. Well, goodbye. I'll be back later. Imagine if someone came into your house randomly, just trashed everything you had and left. And then just when you buy like a new set of those items, they come in and do it again. You're like, when will this nightmare end? Okay, uh... Let me go upgrade my weapons. We'll try one more run in the dungeon, I'll call it there. You guys should get an idea of what it's like. Let's see. Okay, more damage. The level has natural progression blockers like, um, oh, there's a giant rock here. If only I had a bomb. You know, it's, it's very much like Zelda in that regard. on the second floor have so much more health. You know, why don't I just equip the boomerang? Oh, a space bar is menu. I keep forgetting that. All right. Now I can right click and use it. Not... The biggest fan of the boomerang, but it is handy. Ugh. That's the last one, I see. Okay. Take one for team. Plus movement speed, cool. I like the in-game achievement tracker too. You don't get achievements for all of them. Certain increments you will get achievements, so. These guys are a little bit more tough because they have a shield, so you have to wait for them to attack. And then you can attack him. I guess unless you have an ability or item. ran into him. I did it again. 
too clumsy. There you go. Oh, I don't have enough money for this. That's very unfortunate. Sometimes when you click or step on a switch, it triggers like um, a treasure chest. Oh, how are you supposed to do both of them at the same time? Are you supposed to do both of them at the same time? I guess not. Okay. I am still figuring out this game as well. There's a lot of uh, neat little secrets. Wait. The only way forward is in that room though, I think. Is this bombable? Hmm. There's a key somewhere? A key? Oh, right there. Oh man, I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> Time for me to retire. Boxes seem a little bit big. Oh, there might be a snakey here. Oh, need more health. <laughs> I'm gonna die now. Oh, I thought the bomb would go on the conveyor belt. Oh, it doesn't even do that much damage. What is this? Oh no! Uh, darn traps, dude! Such a troll game. Reminds me of Sen's Funhouse in Dark Souls. Oh, okay. So literally on the exit, you know? Oh, I'm dead now. Darn you! Dark Souls! <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of uh, pretty sneaky traps in this game. Let me tell you, well, once you get used to it, you're not going to get fooled again. But uh, sometimes I just forget, you know, I'm getting old now. I I completely forget. I'm like, there's a trap here. And then I step on it like a minute later. We got a lot of gems though. Let's uh, buy some stuff and call it there. And it should give you guys an idea what this game is like. Mm, I think we need more health. Build the clinic uh, over here, I guess. I don't know. people want to move in. Ah, oh, this reminds me of the Poke Center. I guess I'll increase more health later, but yeah, uh, I, I really like what they did with this game. She looks like a zombie. Maybe we should uh, lock her up, you know, just in case. 
All right, there you have it, folks. Once again, the game is Rogue Heroes: Ruins of Tazos. Tazos, however you pronounce it, developed by Heliocentric Studios, published by Team Seventeen Digital. Now, not for the Switch and the PC, and the MSRP is currently nineteen ninety nine. A neat little combination of uh, Legend of Zelda smash with the roguelike. Not a roguelike, a ro roguelite, because you don't lose everything when you die. You still have progress that you're making through the gems. And the gems really give you a something to look forward to, even when you die, because then you can upgrade a building, you can increase your damage, increase your health, uh, buy items, and just level up your town, you know? There's a lot of things you can do. That gives you a reason to go into the dungeon every time. So I think it's really smart game design. Um, I think it does kind of take away from the purity of uh, the original Legend of Zelda series where, you know, your main goal is to beat that dungeon and then you get items to beat other dungeons. And But then you, ha you have to have more dungeons after that, right? So sometimes it gets a little bit a stale, but this gives you a reason to come back and keep going. Anyways, I'm gonna call it there. Hopefully give you guys an idea what the game was like and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. There's definitely a secret here, I bet, <laughs> if you blow it up. Uh, but anyways, if you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see or for me to cover, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there and I'll catch you guys next time. I have to destroy all these bushes. It's, it's my duty.